Café Scientifique is essentially a meetup group and the aim is to talk about science but in an informal setting over a cup of coffee. We've talked about a wide range of topics including the extinction, the human brain, space colonization, alien life, you name it. Hello everyone and a very warm welcome. It's absolutely delightful and amazing to see so many of you here. And a special welcome to all the newcomers. It's great to have you here. Cafe Science Week Dubai is the first uh, of its kind in the Middle East. And the aim is to talk about science, but in an informal setting over a cup of coffee. Thousand years from now, people from Earth will look back to Mars One, hopefully, and realize and know who the first few human settle, uh, settlers on Mars were. And Miko may just be one of them. So without further ado, I would like to hand the mic over to Miko, a Dubai resident who's from Poland and a software engineer, and is most probably going to be one of the first few people on Mars. The main reason is that for me, exploration, space exploration and also exploration of uh, our planet uh, it was something uh, exciting and something that I always wanted to do. About two years ago, uh, two engineers uh, from a small country in Europe, uh, Netherlands, decided to give up uh, what they were doing until now to start organizing human mission to Mars. They announced a selection for this program. Uh, this selection process is going on and uh, after seven years of training, uh, four out of 24 will be selected for the mission. In the meantime, uh, in 2018, uh, they are going to send to Mars uh, communication satellite and um, first rover. In 2022, they are going to send uh, six cargo missions, five habitat solar panels, everything what will be required for the first crew. In 2023, we will have on Mars already six units and two intelligent rovers with trailers. They will be able to collect everything in one place. Everything will start working. The rovers will uh, collect um, soil, uh, warm up it, uh, so ice in the soil will uh, evaporate and in that way uh, they will get water. This water will be used uh, for drinking water and also to produce atmosphere because the uh, content of uh, atmosphere on Mars is 90% uh, of CO2. So, in 2024, in September, uh, first four people will go. It will be two men and two women from four different continents. I am not able to manage anything like this, but I can apply for this mission, <laughs> so I tried. Now we have a, a debate, and I'd like to introduce to you the, the, the two debaters. Everyone here comes from a long history of adventure. Every one of you sitting here right now, you have all a proud ancestry of pioneering spirit. Your parents and grandparents stretching back hundreds of thousands of years. They stepped out of the caves for the first time lifted their heads and thought, bring me that far horizon. And it was that spirit that crossed seas, that explored the West, that sought out new frontiers, and that reached up and took to the sky. But in the words of people much smarter than I am, the sky is no longer the limit. Okay, I guess we have a pioneering spirit. So this is stretched back hundreds of thousands of years. And are we going to be the first generation in all that pedigree to take a step back to go back into the caves, to step back into the darkness of our bowers, instead of moving forward, instead of accepting the newest challenge. No, we can do something else. In the past, we sought out new challenges for all sorts of reasons. Sometimes it was for conquest, for war, to take our efforts and to seek the property and land of other people. Sometimes it was for fear of prosecution. But now we can seek out this new challenge for the most noble of reasons. We choose to do this just to improve what we think is possible. We choose to do this for the betterment of all mankind. 
And to brutally paraphrase JFK, we choose to go to Mars. We choose to go to Mars not because it's easy, but because it's hard. <laughs> Keep your hands up. If you're a parent and you would be happy for your son or your daughter to get on a rocket and go to Mars and never see you again, keep your hand up. And I'm appealing as a human being because we've heard all this stuff, haven't we, about how our forefathers, you know, Sir Christopher Columbus sailed around the world, Marco Polo, Ibn Battuta, all these people. But they went to explore and they didn't take the risks that you are being asked to take. How many people here are immigrants to Dubai who are not from Dubai originally? Pretty much all of us, okay, myself included. I come from England. Now, I came here for a better life. You're going to get on a rocket to Mars for a better life for your children? Do I agree that human beings should do their best? Do I agree that human beings should take calculated risks? Do I agree that human beings should be adventurous? Of course I do. Of course I do. I agree with all of those things. But do I think that all these lovely people here, and I should think nearly everybody in this room, probably everybody in this room is younger than I am, do I think that each one of you should get on a one-way space rocket to Mars and stay there? No, I don't, because I love you too much. Thank you. Thank you.